Hello friends, hope you're doing great. Are you interested in 3D animations? Do you know there is 100% free open source software available and which has the ability to create animations like this? And which is also used in Hollywood to create VFX. Welcome back in this channel we do videos related to photography, videography, CGA and VFX animations and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing it. Now into the topic 100% free open source 3D animation software which you can download and use it legally. Can't believe? Even I didn't believe for the first time but it's true. And I thought it will be good to share the news with you all as I think there are many people like me who will be excited to hear such news. Yes the software that I am going to talk about is called Blender. Before I tell you how to download, set up and use it, let's see a quick overview about the software. The Blender software supports the complete pipeline of the animation process from modeling, rigging to final rendering. If you are not sure about this, watch the video from the cards above which gives the overview of the CGA animation creation process. Blender can even do motion tracking, video editing and game creation. Advanced users can use Blender API for Python scripting to customize the application and write specialized tools. For your quick reference, I have also provided the system requirements for using this software. I will provide the link to download the software in the video description and you can find more details of the software in the about section of their website. Having said, let's see how to download, set up and use the software. Once you click on the link from the description, it will open up this page. And from here, click on the button Download Blender 2.79b. This will open up another page and you can see that a newer version of Blender is already available but that's a beta version. So let's download the fully tested version which is 2.79b. Once you download and save it to your local drive, you will get a setup file like this. You need to double tap on it and click the run button to start this setup process. This is similar to installing any other software so I assume you can install it further and I am not going to show in detail each steps of it. Once the installation is complete, you will find an icon like this and you can double click on it to open the software. And here we are. We got the stage to kickstart our 3D animation journey. You may wonder why you are seeing a cube in the middle of the screen and never mind, that's how it's by default. Also you will see a lot of menus, windows all around and it may look complicated for the first time but I'll help you to understand each item and make your learning easier. Let's start with the main window which is called the 3D viewport. And this is the place where we will be majorly using to model, sculpt and animate the 3D objects. As I said earlier, you will see a cube. In addition, you will see a camera and a lamp. You will also find a grid floor which you can assume like a stage to create your 3D objects and animations. In the left side, you will find the tools window. And this gives you the option to manipulate your 3D objects. To the right, you will find the outliner window which tells you what all objects you have in your scene currently. You can find the world, camera, cube and a lamp for now and this will change as you start to modify, add or remove objects in your 3D viewport. Below that, you can see the properties window which has lots of options to manipulate your 3D objects or scenes like materials, modifiers, words and rendering the output. You may not get it for the first time if you are new but believe me you will understand it as you practice. To the bottom left you have options to switch windows and I am selecting the timeline window which is used for animating the 3D objects through each frame as you slide in the timeline. Also you can find the start, end and the current frame numbers here and you will find options to play past your animations. We will come back to this later. Like this, I can even switch to other windows like graph editor, file browser and so on. Let's switch back timeline for now and see others later. One more important thing is that we will be using middle mouse button in lot of places in this software. Just like what I am doing now to view different angles of my cube in a freestyle way. And if you don't have a 3 button mouse or you have a laptop, make sure that the following option is enabled. Go to file menu, select user preference, go to the input tab and make sure the emulate 3 button mouse is checked. Then save the user settings. Now if you click both the alt key and the left mouse button, it will act like your middle mouse button. 
I'm going to end this tutorial here and I will continue to do a series of videos on this where I'll be giving you more details on the software and how to use it. Hope you found the video useful and if you like it, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and subscribe to our channel as we got more videos coming related to photography, videography, CGI and VFX. See you again with another good content. Until then, see you. Bye.